Hey, what's going on guys? Back here with the 74 Bronco. Got my uh, braces put in here. <clears throat> um, wasn't too bad. Line them up. Measure them, line them up. I like to put them on the inside here, only because, well this door post is probably going to stay on, but i got to take the uh, um, kick panel off and on. I definitely got to take the door post on that side off, which is easier. You don't have to worry about, you know, some guys like to put them in, in here. All of your strikers and your door posts are good. Obviously, that's a no-brainer. Yeah, do it. But since i got to take at least definitely that one and this one, I'm hoping I don't have to take this off to realign it. The door was a little off, but I think I can shim it or, you know, figure it out that way. But this striker's going to have to come out anyway, too, so that's why I put it on the inside. Um, around the brace around there, I probably might run another one in the back just to be safe um, so it don't buckle when we take this thing off um, but yeah there, there she is with the uh, the braces on um, like I said all I gotta do really now is just take off the uh, the rest of the stuff on the belly of this thing I think there's a couple fuel lines um, what, that one bolt I think there's gotta look and see what's underneath there for that uh, filler neck to get it off on the bottom and then uh, I'm just gonna grind the, the body mount bolts off I'm probably gonna put a one inch lift body lift on this thing with the three and a half inch suspension so I'm not going to need the bolts. I wouldn't use these crappy bolts anyway. So once I get that done, everything off, um, I got the rotisserie I was working on. Uh, I ran out of gas in my uh, oxyacetylene, so I couldn't cut that. Oh, there's my damn cell phone. It's the boss. So this is where we're at. Floor, I think this stuff, upper floor is going to have to come out the whole thing. It's more and more I look at it, I can see pinholes and shit, so it's definitely got to come out. But um, the rotisserie's out there. I have the uh, everything ready for uh, for it, except, like I said, I ran out of oxycetylene. I, I ran out of oxygen, so I can't uh, finish up cutting what I need to. Um, and then, you know, I'll be done with that, so it's, it takes two seconds to do. Just got to get the uh, oxygen, cut it, and be done with it. But, um, Coming along, guys. Like I said, baby steps. I have my trusty, uh, there's my wife calling me again on the phone here. <laughs> Wondering where I'm at. She gave me like a few hour haul pass. I got an hour and some minute ride home, and it's 7 o'clock at night, so I'm going to be home around 9 o'clock if I'm lucky. So, uh, got to clean this place up and get out of here. That is, it's hard to see. I can focus in on it. It's actually upside down, too. It's available on, uh, I don't know what this can get on um, Classic Broncos. That gives you all your measurements. So I love using that when I'm, you know, doing these uh, these posts. Get everything lined up. Your doors on straight and all. But there will definitely be updates, gentlemen. Ladies, if you're watching, um, I will uh, probably be here over the weekend trying to get some more stuff conquered. Getting ready to go on the, the rotisserie. I gotta help my uh, father-in-law. He wants to get rid of a 70 Chevy pickup he's got. He was restoring it, but he, I, know, I guess he's just giving up. So he wants me to get that out of his garage on Saturday, but hopefully I can get a free day up here Sunday to uh, get some more shit done on this thing and get it ready to go on the spit. Um, but I will keep you updated. Sell it all on Classic Broncos. See ya.